What's up guys, how are you guys doing today? So today guys, don't prefer to be different, have some fun and be yourself guys, but it's currently after 1 o'clock right now and Canada is facing Russia and I believe they are losing one nothing. Um, I think they're losing one nothing. Uh, that, that was the thing that I saw. Um, let me see, Canada versus Russia. Uh, let me see. I don't know why. Um, I think they were losing one nothing. Um, I have TSN on my phone, but I don't have it on my iPad. But I do believe that they were losing. And like I was talking to you guys yesterday, see how there's not much snow? It's just mostly grass now. And uh, it's fairly warm outside. So, um, yeah. But I'm about to go downstairs, edit yesterday's video, and watch the Canada and Russia games. So, um, I'll catch you guys later. We are about to go over to the mall uh, right now, and I don't know. John's going for something, my mother's going for something, and I just, and my dad is going something as well, I think, I don't know. So I have gift cards and stuff, so I'm gonna see what's there, and I don't know, interesting, and I don't know, let's see. But yeah, so I'm about to go do that, but I'm gonna wear my first pair of sushi socks today. I honestly do not know what these are, but on them, they say uh, sushi socks box, and I don't know what type of sushi they are, but we'll see. And then tomorrow I'll wear these, and uh, I honestly do not know what these ones are either. I think this one is like salmon or something like that, but um, I don't know. But yeah, so um, we're about to go over to the mall right now, and uh, oh, I, I put my ornament on on the tree and then I also have this ornament. I had to tape it a bit just because it was falling apart but um it it's hard to see but there it lights up a bit. So you can see the green. And it, it's honestly really cool. And yeah so that's like my little tree. I just have it here and I added a camera ornament to it and I really like the camera ornament. So I got that for Christmas, but um, yeah, so we're about to go over to the mall, so I'll catch you guys when we are back. So it was currently 5.36 and I'm about to head out to work right now, so Canada lost 6 nothing. it was a terrible game, and Alexis Lafreniere got hurt, so that's not good. He's projected to be the number one overall in 2020, and he's not going to be like the regular number one overall, he's suspected to be like another McDavid, Crosby type player, so it's a huge loss that he's injured, it was a terrible play. I'm not going to show up because it'll probably also get copyrighted, but it's just, it's it doesn't look good. should be up on TSN's Instagram, so go check it out. It's it's bad, but yeah, so I'm going to go over to work right now, and uh, I'll catch you guys back at like 10.30, 11 o'clock. So, I am now home from work. It was honestly a pretty good time tonight. Uh, I got home like an hour and a half-ish ago. Yeah, I don't know what time it is. Yeah, an hour and a half. It's currently 12.24. And um, I was just watching a movie on Netflix. And honestly, it was really, really funny. Seth Rogen was in it. And it's like a Christmas one. I forget what it's called, but that's beyond the point. It was just honestly a really, really funny movie. But, um, yeah, so, since I really didn't record much, um, I'm gonna pick up the camera tomorrow morning, and, I don't know, make this vlog 
a bit better than it is already because honestly, I don't know how good this video is, but yeah, like I said earlier, like we are actually losing our snow and it's kind of crazy, but I don't know. I kind of like it though because you only need snow for Christmas pretty much and we did have that. Um, but Pittsburgh won tonight 6-4 to four against Nashville again. So it was like a back-to-back -back home and home situation and Pittsburgh ended up pulling off uh, both wins, which is kind of crazy. It was it's really nice and honestly, what kind of doesn't surprise me but kind of does at the same time is Brian Rust this season. He's becoming like an amazing player. Like more than, but he's becoming like kind of like a superstar more or less. He he's been ever since like Crosby and like everyone has been out of the lineup. He's been like kind of like one of the staple people for the Penguins, and he's been incredible this whole season. I mean, he was always good in the Cup runs in 2016 and 17, but he's found himself as like a top uh, point getter for the Penguins this year, which is. Which is nice, but uh, yeah, so I'm about to go to bed, and uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. So it is now the next day, and honestly, it's, it's raining, and it is not like a really uh, nice day outside. But um, as you guys can see by the title, we are going to be doing a New Year's New Year facts, um, <clears throat> because honestly, why not? Like I did this for Christmas a year ago. I did crazy Christmas facts, so why not just do um, like crazy New Year's New Year's Eve facts or New Year's facts or honestly, why not? So um, let's just see. 20 New Year's 25 facts. We're gonna try this. Okay, so <clears throat> We have one to five interesting facts about New Year. So the first one is some people wear adult diapers while celebrating New Year's at Times Square due to the lack of toilets That's kind of weird, but it kind of kind of a little bit makes sense because you're stuck with like, I don't even know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people maybe. Uh, in Times Square, actually probably hundreds, yeah, hundreds of thousands. In Times Square. And like the odds of <clears throat> you be able to go to the washroom are kind of slim. So honestly that one is kind of funny. But the next one is Ethiopia has 13 months. Their current year is still 2006 and they celebrate New Year's on September 11th? Huh, I huh. That's something that you knew and learn every day. Um I definitely did not know that. That's kind of different, cool, different, I guess. Um that they're they're like years behind us. Wait, when was this created? Um Let's just see. Oh, December 13th, 20... December 31st, 2013. So, if you add... What is it? It's 2019. Um, it's So, it's like 2012 in Ethiopia, which is kind of crazy that there's six years. Um, more than six years behind... Um, I don't know. That's crazy, but... Um, Let's see. Until 2006, the space shuttle never flew on New Year's Day or Eve because its computers couldn't handle a year rollover. Huh. That's... That, I... Uh, hmm. Um, honestly, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But it kind of makes sense. I don't know why, but it just kind of does. But honestly, it's it's kind of weird when you whenever you're like midnight on New Year's Eve, because then you like check your phone and then it's like, uh, well this year it'll be e it'll be different be it'll be weird because it, instead of it'll be like instead of two zero one it'll be like two zero two and then a number especially for um 
like writing a date in school because most of my childhood or school year has been in this decade so uh, I've mostly write, wrote in like 201 and then like a number so like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and that'll be kind of weird writing like 202 then like 0 to like oh I don't even know um because my high school ends um 2020 so uh I, I'll probably graduate college 2024-ish I don't know so that's kind of crazy that that'll be writing 20 like 2020 which is I don't know I just find that kind of weird but in an effort to reduce drunk driving New Year's Eve the a the triple a will tow your car and give you a lift home for free even if you're not a member not available in all states oh so this is American okay okay I see I see well, I kind of, I don't know, good on AAA. We we have CAA here. I don't think we have AAA here, but um, good on AAA, honestly, for doing that. It's kind of good for them because, like, you don't want to see people driving when they're drunk because, honestly, it's not a good situation. But number five, we have Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Symph oh, my gosh. Symphony. Whatever was introduced to uh, Japan by Germans POWs in World War One, who played it for them and it is now a national tradition to perform every New Year's that's kinda cool Beethoven is still living on and I don't know Beethoven is was really really good and really talented I don't know he's he was he was incredible but um, I'm pretty sure what I was trying to say was symph symphony symphony yeah something like that um, but now we have Six to ten interesting facts. Um, now, when religion was first suppressed in Soviet Russia, Santa slash Saint Nick was replaced with Grandfather Frost, called the Spirit of Winter, who brought gifts on New Year's Eve, New Year's, and placed them under the New Year New Year tree. Is that the New Year tree? That's kind of cool. I like that. I like that. I don't know. We should. I don't know. That that should be another tra like a, a thing. Like you have Christmas and then you have New Year's and I don't know. That, I don't know. That'd be really cool. A New Year's tree and what do you say, Father Christmas or Father Father? No, oh, Grandfather Frost. I like that. Grandfather Frost. Now we have in Korea and and some other Asian countries. You were born. You when you were born. You are considered one year old, and everyone's age increases one year on New Year's. So if you were born December 29th on New Year's Day, you would be considered two years old. What? I don't know. That just really confuses me. Um, I don't know. I just find... I don't know. That one, that one just really confuses me. Um, but... Now we are on number eight. In 2010, a black widow suit. Okay, okay. Uh, we're, not, we're, we're gonna skip that one. Um, on New Year's Day in 1976, a man named Danny Fingood changed the Hollywood sign to Hollyweed as a college prank in order to celebrate the discrimination of marijuana and got an A for it. <laughs> Oh, that one's kind of funny. I like that one. Because you always see, like, the memes of Hollyweed. I don't know. It's kind of funny. And it's legal there now. Well, it is. It's legal in Canada all over. But, um, that's beyond the point. It's legal in California now. Um, now we have the ancient Hawaiian New Year's was four months long. War was forbidden. People stopped working. And the people spent time dancing, feasting, and having a good time. Oh, that's crazy. Stop working, stop everything for New Year's. I kind of like that. Um, but honestly, you really get nothing done during the year if you're just four months of your year is partying. Although that would be really fun, but they would really wouldn't get anything done. Um, but <clears throat> there is a music festival every New Year's Eve in, uh, in the Antarctic called Ice Stock. Huh, is this ice stock? Oh yeah, it is. That's kind of cool, I like that. And then, 
In Thailand, they celebrate their traditional New Year's Day with the state-sponsored multiple day water fight. Oh. When I was growing up, I know we used to like fill up water balloons and like the park was just over there. So we'd, we'd go around and we'd just have a water fight. Even like water guns, we'd just be running down our street with water guns. And honestly, it was a lot of fun. And the next one we have is um, prior to 1753, Britain and its possessions celebrated the New Year on March 25th, Annunciation Day. Furthermore, uh, 1752 only lasted nine months, as the dates from 0101 to 0324, as well as September 3rd, uh, September 3rd to 13th, were skipped in order for 1753 to begin in 01. Uh, on 0101 like other countries whoa that's crazy um 1753 only had nine months i don't know it's a really short year but i don't know it's kind of crazy about how a year has 12 months and i don't know i always think about that like if it actually is the regular time or if it actually is the regular day like who knows we could be living in i don't even know i don't know i just find that crazy but <clears throat> If we go here, Russians celebrate the New Year twice, once on January 1st and then again on January 14th, okay? And the last one, I'm not going to read, 7, 16 to 20. But, we actually, uh, comment down below if you want a part 2 to this. Um, I don't know, it should be interesting. Or like another Crazy Facts video. But, on New Year's Day in <clears throat> Attica, Japan... There is a tradition where men dress as demons, get dr oh, mess dress as mountain demons, get drunk and terrorize children for being lazy and or disobeying their parents. Huh. That's one way to do it, but I don't know if that's the right way to do it. Um, but uh, yeah, so that has been the wild uh, New Year's facts. I don't know if you guys really wanted this, but here you go. There's some wild. New Year's facts, but uh, yeah, so I don't know, they were kind of interesting. Alright, guys, so um, since it is the next day and I have to edit the video and then start recording a new one, I do believe that's going to have to end off today's video. So I basically like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you like to watch another video, guys, be subscribed to my YouTube channel and turn on my post notifications and smash that like button. Smash. So Savage Wines, peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.